Hello and welcome to a WM brand lot of figures. We've got five figures here, all with crazy head molds. Starting on the left, we have Batgirl. We have Jane Foster as four. We have, uh, I think this is Scarlet Witch, if I'm not mistaken. A Lady Loki, a female version of Loki, uh, which I think did happen in the books. Like, he was magically turned into a woman for a while. Didn't like it. Uh, maybe. And we have Hendo, who's the only guy here, but he also has crazy head mold, armor mold, yay! All these figures come with their, I guess, appropriate accessories. We have the bat blade here, bleh, boring. Uh, Falls hammer, nothing for her. A spear there, and he's got a sword. So the gimmick here is, of course, the huge head mold pieces. And you get to take the person who likes different molds and different mold pieces that make you know, the, uh, outside of the uh, official sort of Lego lot of shapes, then you'll definitely like this. I personally don't like too much modification, like I like everything to be consistent in a Lego style, but I think helmets and masks are okay because Lego has always had different helmets and masks. It's uh, when people start to put molded bits onto arms and bodies and legs, that's when I start to get a little bit like, eh, I don't like that, I prefer it to be just printed on, that's how Lego should be. So I think this is actually a good sort of middle ground. And I also don't mind like armor packs that you can wear on Lego figures. But uh, as soon as the whole like different mold is actually adjusted and adapted from the torso itself, like you can't actually take the armor pack off or you take it off, there's nothing underneath it. That's when I start to get a little bit, eh, that's not quite Lego. So I don't mind this here. Now the more the stuff, uh, Hemdo looks excellent. I think that's based on some um, fan who did it and the Loki staff Loki helmet is also looks quite good as well unfortunately the Loki one is very loose uh, you can just be fiddling the figure and it will just come off why because um there's two little bumps in the hair and uh, that's it it's, it's not even pegged in so it comes off very easily these ones are okay but oh that, that, that came off these ones are kind of okay but I think it's just down to luck that they still stay on there so yeah ew, what happened to that face squished and uh, these ear pieces there on the fore helmet that can come off and the hair and the silver there's actually two different types of plastic that I just put together so that's cool and for the most part this one does stay quite well together so yeah these hair pieces head pieces they're molded nicely they're done quite well uh, but I would probably just recommend while it's nice that you can take it off I probably would recommend you to uh, just you know, get some super glue and glue them on so they don't fall off because uh, as soon as you move these around they will fall off and that can get very annoying the most detailed one is Hemdale so I'm just gonna take a close zoom in on him there the armor right there body armor looks really really good Yep, so underneath the armor and the capes and all that, the print design is actually pretty excellent uh, from WM brand. This is pretty good. This is uh, up there with good Pogo and I think probably with uh, XINH as well. Not only are the fronts printed, the color seems okay. The flesh on her torso is a little bit yellow, but uh, the other ones seem okay. And there's also some muscle detail there on the Hemdo. But you can see here, well, she doesn't have any side print, but uh, she does. Got like side leg print, so the Scarlet Witch, just uh, not too much detail, but just to get it consistent. Uh, Loki's missing some, but uh, all these other characters, especially him, though, it's very detailed on the side of the arms and the legs. The back is okay for the most part. The capes will cover it, but there's still again a lot, of, quite a lot of detail on him, though, especially his legs, and a lot of detail on the on Lady Four right there as well. You can see even different colors printed on there, but of course the top of the legs aren't going to print it. Aren't going to be printed, so. Um, I'm going to get some colors showing up on there, but other than that, this is still a pretty good job that they've done here. Finally, the overall clutch and print quality of these are pretty excellent, and the cape themselves, uh, they feel like pogo flimsy stuff, but slightly thicker material, so not as flimsy, but um, I, I can feel like if I just pull yanked on it, it'll probably break. All right, so if you just get a little bit of super glue, this is actually a pretty awesome set. Unique pieces, unique modes, and the print themselves are not half bad at all. In fact, they're quite good, especially Hamdo and Lady uh, Lady Father. They're really, really nicely done. Uh, back, <laughs> it's kind of odd that she's here, but I kind of get the theme of the set, and she does fit in here quite well. So if you're looking at this version, this particular version of Batgirl, or was it Batwoman? Um, then yeah, this is a pretty good set to pick up. Only five figures though, so not a big set, but say hey, it's still okay. Subscribe, suggestion, comment below the cost take care and have a nice day i'll see you guys soon bye bye now